And those kind of people are all over. They were like out in the park and they were like, swan, swans. And they were like wading into the water and they just had like vinegar dripping off their face. And one of their kids, because they had all these 10 year old kids, was like shaking their head and saying they always did this and said that the, their grandparents told them to pour vinegar over your head to first sunscreen. Oh, it made me so hungry. So I'm like trying to figure out whether these kids need help. And they're like, no, this happens all the time. This is like a break for us. And they all got and this like 10 year old girl was like driving the car home and she she leaned out the window like she knew i was concerned and she's like will you come back in an hour and a half they'll still be there they'll find if they drown what are they gonna do we're just gonna sue us give us some random parents and just to take care of us till we turn 18 and we'll be better off than with these weird cult they thought they thought they were swans or they were looking for swans it was the weirdest thing and then this like giant fluorescent temple rose up from the lake and then they all started dancing around it. i'm like maybe they're not so crazy after all maybe just trying to get the kids out of the way so they can do this like swan practice what i saw of it was very beautiful but it quickly moved inside to this like celestial structure i don't didn't feel invited and looked at me and kind of like you know, hey but i wasn't about like hey can i get in on that because who knows what happened here i mean sacrificing their like katra to the swan deity pretty impressive i was leaving on my bike when the kids came back for them and by then it was crazy it didn't sink back into the water the way it rose out it like sort of just dissipated in little like swan shaped sparks it was quite quite a sight i have to say uh the kids didn't seem very impressed by the time they came back it was just little wet people flapping around in robes yelling about swans which is what i kind of thought the whole thing was going to be uh, from the beginning so it was it was different not always to my taste my taste in like suddenly manifesting celestial lake palaces is a little less gauche it was flashy it was like i hate to say this because i hate to put this out there because it's just a, like, a thing where people say those things on the cover of the towers of Poseidon's castle on the Little Mermaid cover one looks like a penis. Like, this is a lot more about you. You're scouring. Does anything look remotely like a penis here? Yeah, a tower. So this flashlight is wiggly phallic. It's such a simple shape. It's a cylinder. Because that put it in my mind ever since I was a kid hearing people report on this scandal. It was a terrible time. It was a terrible time and it still is. I hate to say it, but some of this celestial palace before it, you know, flittered away into uh, phosphorescent swans did remind me of that tower that everyone said that about and because they put that in my mind it made me think of you know, sh schlong now i'm talking about schlongs and you're probably thinking about them i know i can't get them off my mind or my forehead or right no, I'm just, i don't know that's that's probably like not a nice thing to joke about i don't mind joking about it but like when i was a teenager that showed you were progressive and now joking like about it makes you sound like you're like queer bait and i don't want to do that especially like i didn't learn much about their inner practices but those swan people they were on to something i've never seen you know methodist manifest a palace like that so i hope the kids don't feel pressured to worship swan deities and their parents instead because they clearly were just and maybe if they had seen the part of it with the palace they'd feel differently but it, like what, you know if they want their kids to be interested in it the best thing they can do is to not push it out it's my theory. philosophically interesting but i am confronted with a dilemma it's like i'm reading about these other religions as an atheist out of curiosity i feel like what i'm coming to with it is sincere how i'm approaching these materials but knowing that i'm not taking them the way they were intended they weren't written to be interesting philosophical treaties to people who didn't you know i feel like feel jesus for looking at and there's people act like if you take those things into account oh, you shouldn't feel guilty for reading a book that shows you're good for being curious but if you're not willing to think about it it's like it's not hurting me to wonder about my motivations it's not hurting me it's just adding something else to think about so i'll add that to the list along with those swan people and then there's the one about the food cart that was financing a cult and it was all coming out because the guy's suing the, the adult women who say their elderly parents have changed their name and given all their assets this kind of happened to like five different it's like one of those me too things where there's just one person came forward and everyone's like oh my god that happened to my mom too and i was too embarrassed to tell anyone it's really kind of scary but the thing is is that they're using it a food truck to finance the cult and they're getting all this money that's not how i do it it'd be like financing the food truck with the cult think how if you had the most tricked out food truck with all the 
best mechanisms for quickly preparing quality food. You're in a realm of heart. I mean, these other cults. And then instead of financing the cult, you expand the cult through the food truck. Start offering little treats. I think we all know what I mean. Sage cult wisdom. I don't know what this guy's deal was. It probably wasn't swans, because what are the odds? You're getting like so many swan cults in it. Well, area. It didn't seem connected. You know, those kids were driving the car, and then the way the parents were driving the car when they left. This guy's never operated a food truck in their life. I don't care how jazzed up on their celestial experience they were. If you see any food truck, assume it's financing a cult. Leave little notes on them when no one's looking that says, you should know the truth. The only explanation is cult. And then just do that to everything. Park cars, police officers, like the little part of their hat. And on there it says, the state of California knows components of this police officer to be a cult. A cult. And then you're like, set. You could just kind of post those everywhere and then just sort of coast.